me and Dave uh, always were obsessed with waffles, and it was kind of like a big thing in our family. We uh, we lived in Belgium when we were kids, and and then you know these products. Uh, it's called the Liège waffle. Um, in, in Belgium, it's very common throughout the country. Uh, but when we moved to the States, um, you know we we couldn't really find them anywhere, and it was pretty disappointing. And so uh, in, in in 2006, we started kind of experimenting with them and trying to see if we can make them at home and we found out that we can make them you know pretty good and uh, as time went on we kept on making them and making them and making them and the recipe got better and better and better and um, to this day I mean I eat a waffle almost every day I can't you know I can't really live without them I think it's, it's the mo probably, for me it's the most amazing uh, bread product um, a Liège waffle by definition it's not like your uh, you know, it's not like your uh, diner, fluffy, dry, quick bread kind of waffle that, that you might see elsewhere. I think it's more of like a pastry in the shape of a waffle. When we first opened up, literally a lot of people, a lot of people we knew looked at us like, you guys are you guys serious? You guys are literally just going to serve waffles? And we said, yeah, this is a great product. Everyone would want to buy this if they just knew what it was. In fact, when we opened up, we only sold uh, the original, which is just a plain waffle, and that's how I usually have it. I, you know, I, I love they, making all these crazy creations with toppings and stuff, but um, it's meant to really be had on its own um, in, a, in a purest foodie sense. Um, and so we, we really only sold originals and milk, and you walked into the store, and you know, back when it was just about yay big, and literally all you saw was was, uh, was waffles and milk, and that's all we sold. And then people started saying, hey, you know, why don't you make some toppings and this and that? And so we eventually started uh, adjusting our menu to kind of suit what people want to eat. And even even though we don't condone, uh, for example, putting maple uh, and butter on our waffles um, because it's just had such a high demand. Um, we kind of cracked under the pressure and we decided to start carrying uh, real maple syrup um, and, and just, you know, when people ask for maple, for maple and, and butter, we let them know we're giving them really good maple syrup, uh, really good butter, and still we don't recommend it. Um, and people know that and it's kind of one of the things walking in here that weirds a lot of people out. And sometimes people have expectations, and so I find that the people who come in here with no expectations kind of tend to enjoy themselves the most. Um, and a lot of people that end up pouring that maple syrup all over our waffle uh, find out that it's not really necessary and that it might be a little too sweet for them. When people come in here, I, I really, uh, I just want them to feel to feel that we are that we care about the food that we make, that we're extremely passionate, and like. All, all of our waffle bakers really, really care about putting out a, a good product, and it's not just like a mass-produced, um, you know, sort of batter, or whatever. That, that we, it's not like a quick mix that we make. Um, it's a lot of manual labor that goes into making this food. Besides the food aspect of it, which which I want people to experience, I want people to just come in here and just feel good and feel nice, and I want to be part of the community and and just have a, a good place to hang out. Um, I spend all day here, so I just kind of want people people around me to be happy and enjoy themselves. So uh, my name is Omer Orion. I'm from Off the Waffle, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some apple pancakes today. Uh, we don't serve these here at Off the Waffle, but um, I make waffles every day, so I just figured I'd try something different. Mix two whipped eggs, one and a half cups of milk. Then I'm going to mix them around a little bit. Now you guys don't be afraid to try this at home. So I got two cups of flour, about a teaspoon of baking powder, just a tiny bit of salt, about a half a teaspoon. Okay, so now I'm going to just mix this guy into that guy. And really it's important to get it to the right uh, to the right thickness, like different recipes will tell you, um, you know, mix this much, mix that much, but really you should be, you should feel free to add liquids as necessary to get it to the consistency that you want. So I basically just have three uh, cored, peeled Fuji apples, and I don't know if this is the best apple for this, but that's what we had, so that's what I'm using. And I'm just going to add these here. Put some cinnamon in there. Like maybe some more cinnamon. I like to go pretty heavy on the cinnamon when I bake it into stuff because 
it tends to kind of mellow out. I'm just going to flatten them out as much as possible. That's it, about uh, three minutes on each side, and I think that should do it. I'm thinking this might be good just on a waffle with strawberries, bananas, uh, pecans, walnuts, a little bit of applesauce. I don't know if you can even see the pancake in there, but it's in there. 